Good day everyone. No? Uh, we are done with these three topics under poultry production. Now let's move on to the fourth topic and that is uh, the management practices employed in poultry production. So this is now the last topic under poultry production but uh, this is subdivided into several parts. Okay, so under management practices, I will be discussing separately the layer production and broiler production. What are the things that need to be considered in raising layer chickens and broiler chickens in order to have a positive economic impact? Okay, so these are the management practices in layer egg production from selection of stocks to raise until health management, okay? By the way, when we talk of layers, they are uh, the commercially viable egg-producing birds, okay? We know that egg is in great demand because of its nutritive value, easy and quick preparation time, and as a co-ingredient in a wide variety of preparations, mapa-household or commercial man yan. So, kaya naman, layer farming has gained importance as one of the fastest growing industries in the agricultural sector. Okay? So, without much ado in here, let me start now my discussion. Okay? So, when you want to engage in layer production, you have to raise egg-type pullets produced from, of course, egg production lines, right? So in the past years, almost all commercial egg type pullets raised were from uh, pure lines of this single comb white leghorn. So this is your single comb white leghorn, okay? Today, almost all commercial egg type chickens raised in the Philippines are imported stocks, popularly known as commercial egg type strains. So imported stocks because um, as previously discussed, we do not have a true poultry breeding farm in the Philippines. We are just uh, multiplier farms and commercial farms. And as a recall, egg type chickens uh, have comparatively small body size. They are active and nervous in temperament and are non-seaters. Okay, when we say non-seaters, hindi sila hindi handa nga mangukop, no? Okay, though um, they are they are also uh, efficient egg producers and they have longer uh, production cycles, okay? So, these are the characteristics of your stocks that you need to select in starting an egg production enterprise. So, here are the criteria or the considerations in selecting egg type strains to raise. So, first is the performance, second is the availability of stocks and reliability reliability of suppliers, and finally, consumer uh, preference. So, in the case of performance, you have to give primary consideration to the number and size and quality of eggs produced given certain amount of input. Okay? So, yung input natin could be capital, uh, the materials, raw materials that we need in establishing a poultry house, and of course, yung pinaka-importante, yung feeds and medicines or yung biologics natin. Okay, so you also have to choose strains which are consistently producing higher number of good size and quality of eggs. Okay, so uh, kung natatandaan ninyo in our previous discussions, um, we select the better performing animals. We have to select the top performing animals, of course, in order to improve genetically and phenotypically yung performance ng uh, future generations. Okay, so another thing that we need to consider in the performance uh, is yung uh, sexual maturity, age at sexual maturity. Because th this determines um, yung start of lay ng eggs. So, when do uh, layer chickens start to produce eggs? So, yun, kung kailan siya nag-start uh, mag-sexual mature, uh, possible, probable na uh, mag-start na siya mga itlog. Though not regularly, kasi kasi simula pa lang niyang mag ng eggs. Okay? So, dapat din feed efficient uh, yung uh, manok or yung strain na uh, bibilhin mo or isa-select mo para um, hindi masayang yung input mo. Okay? Especially yung feeds. Because majority of um, cost of production is feeds. Okay? pupunta sa feed. So, that's for the performance. And next is the availability of stocks and reliability of suppliers. Of course, it is important to know kung may available stocks ba from hatchery farms or agricultural supplies because the prompt delivery or the fast delivery of these stocks is vital to the overall management 
of the farm. Okay? So, it is also important to look into the reliability of suppliers so that you are sure you are buying good quality chicks. Okay? So, yung good quality chicks is important when you start a uh, production, uh, poultry production. Kasi nga sabi natin in our uh, previous discussions, especially sa swine, doon nagsisimula uh, yung uh, production natin. Dun, yun yung nagde-determine. Yung quality ng ating starting animal um, determines the production performance of your uh, enterprise. Okay? And we also have here consumer preference. We know that eggs are nutritious and considered as one of the cheapest sources of animal protein. However, since demand for egg is influenced by income, by price, and consumer preference, um, these tax or the strain that you need to raise must also uh, consider, you must also consider the target market or the preference of your target market. So, ano ba yung gusto nila? And then, let's talk about the uh, things that we need to consider in uh, um, selecting a site for your poultry house. Okay? It should be away from residential or crowded areas. We know for a fact that there is a distinct odor coming from poultry houses. No? Uh, from poultry litters, mm, to be specific. And this is, we know that it is unpleasant to many. Most especially if you are engaged in a large-scale poultry farm. Most especially, kung hindi sana yung kapitbahay mo, na nakaaamoy ng ganung odor from poultry litter, okay? And it cannot be avoided that flies no, will be attracted to the poultry litter or yung dumi ng uh, manok, okay? Uh, langaw usually eh, yung problema sa poultry enterprise. Another is access to market. And when we say market, we are not only referring to the place but also to the people, to the producers or consumers who will buy or purchase or uh, sell the produce. Okay? There should also be access um, to roads for transporting uh, inputs and outputs. So, well connected with roads for transportation. There should be right of way for easier access. No, So that when your eggs are ready to, to be marketed and when you buy farm inputs, you have uh, roads to, um, um, to access. Okay? And it is also important, no, yung provision of electricity and clean water. Of course, the animals or the chicks need uh, enough or sufficient light and warmth. And light intensity is important when raising layer chickens, okay? Uh, because this affects yung production performance. Malalaman ninyo in um, the next slides um, na nag nakaka to yung duration of light and the light intensity sa production, egg production performance ng chickens. Okay? Of course, clean water should always be available in the farm or location. Where you want to construct your poultry house, dapat may source of water doon. Okay. Okay, moving on, we have here the design and construction of housing. This should be such that it could provide the following. Of course, we have optimum performance. Siyempre, ayaw naman nating malugi. Maximum labor efficiency. Uh, optimum environment control. And isa sa mga pinaka-importante sa lahat, yung satisfactory waste disposal. Okay, so as much as possible, there should be sufficient air circulation in order to avoid stress. Which could cause, of course, egg production to to, to drop, no? Hindi lang sa chickens but in other farm animals um, yung stress, it affects the production performance. Okay? Dapat well ventilated yung house. There should be proper hygiene and sanitation to avoid the spread of diseases. And it is important to note that the poultry house should be built in an east-to-west direction. Okay? Along the long axis of the house for natural light and Sunrays. So, tatandaan ninyo yun. It should be built in an east-to-west direction along the long axis of the house. And these are the roof types uh, for poultry houses. We have here, uh, ito, yung monitor, yung letter B. Yung semi-monitor, yung letter A. Yung gable type is letter C. And then, yung shed type, yung letter D. Okay? Yung monitor type of roof, roof may be used for layer houses or brooder houses, okay? The semi-monitor type uh, is used for a wide, uh, for a very wide houses, okay? 
which has a central alley as this type allows more sunlight. So, mas maraming sunlight in a deep house. And this one, letter C, the gable type, is used extensively for large poultry houses, so large-scale farms. For multiple story buildings, yon for brooder houses, pwede rin, hindi lang sa monitor type. And then for incubator cellars. Okay, so this type of roof may be sealed at or slightly above the eaves. Okay, and then lastly, we have here yung shed type. Okay, yung shed type, we can see here that the roof slopes only in one direction. Okay, so this is sometimes referred to as single slope or single span. And it is known to be the most economical and most practical for a poultry house. Because it receives no maximum amount of sun sunlight during uh, colder months. Okay, so yun yung uh, roof types. Now, let's proceed to brooding management. This is, of course, um, as, you, as a review, this is the management of uh, or the provision of supplemental heat or additional heat. And when do we uh, do brooding management? This is from day old to about four weeks of age. Okay? This starts as soon as the chicks are placed, of course, in the brooder area where heat is supplied or supplemented until na uh, kaya na nung chicks yung sarili nila. Okay? Na hindi na nila kailangan ng additional heat to keep them comfortable. Okay? So, as I recall, yun nga sabi ko kanina, um, kailangan nila ng uh, enough temperatures, sufficient temperatures. So, these are the five essentials in brooding. Yung uh, temperature, uh, fresh air, um, light intensity, and as well as they should have access to clean water and feed. Now, in brooding, it is important to meet or provide the required temperature across ages. Okay? Uh, proper brooding temperatures are necessary for chicks to be healthy and to rapidly feather. From 0 to 1, okay, 1 week, that means at the start of hatch until they reach 1 week of age, they need this uh, temperature range for brooding, 32.2 degrees Celsius to 35 degrees Celsius. As you notice in the table, the, the brooding temperature decreases as they grow older. Okay. If you have experienced raising chicks, regardless of whether that is an egg type or meat type, you can determine whether the temperature in the brooding area is high or low. So as shown in this picture, you know that the temperature is too high when chicks make no noise. Chicks pant, so hinihingal yung mga chicks. The head and wings droop and lumalayo sila doon sa source of heat. Okay, And then, Kung correct yung temperature, evenly distributed yung mga chicks. Okay? Uh, ibig sabihin, enough, sufficient yung temperature provided in the brooder area. But, when the temperature is low, chicks crowd to the brooder. So, kumpul-kumpul sila. Malapit doon sa source of heat. Okay? Uh, noisy sila, tapos um, they, uh, they feel like they are in distress. And then, um, dito sa part na to, sa draft, this distribution requires investigation kasi uneven na yung light distribution. Ibig sabihin, dito na yung mas mainit na part. Hindi di distributed dito sa part yung light, ay, uh, yung heat rather, yung warm. Okay? So, that's for uh, determining um, the temperature uh, level in the brooding area. And then, of course, aside from temperature, there is also a recommended floor space allowed per bird. So, for egg type chickens, each bird should occupy 0.3 square foot when they are 0 to 3 weeks old, etc. Until uh, they grow older. Of course, based on the values, and it is obvious that chickens, that as chickens grow older, they require wider spaces, of course. And now, these are the sources of heat for brooders. We have five here in the list, but there's another one uh, I was not able to include, and that is this one, rice hull, yung nasa picture. Common yung electricity, and these are uh, usually used in uh, large-scale farms. But the provision of rice hull, such, uh, such as this one, uh, is advantageous, not only to the chicks, but also to the farmer or to the racer itself. 
Okay? Because these are locally available materials, so ibig sabihin, they are cheaper, relatively cheaper, than this one in the list. Okay? So, ano yung benefit na makukuha nila from the rice hull? So, the rice hull absorbs moisture coming from the feces or litter of the chicks. They absorb spilled water from waterers, and of course, they reduce mold development from uh, spilled feeds or yung mga natatapon na feeds. And then, as I have previously discussed, sabi yung kanina, light is an important factor in the development of layers as well as in the production performance of the layer hens. And the correct light to dark ratio in the rearing house affects egg production. Because during the first few days, um, lighting the cheeks throughout the night, so ibig sabihin 24 hours yung light, uh, pati araw, no? pati umaga rather. Uh, minibigyan natin sila ng, uh, ng light because this is favorable for their growth. And yung growth nila affects yung egg production. Also, um, the light in the brooder or yung brooder cage or brooder house encourages the birds to keep close to source of heat, feed, and water. Okay? So, these are important things to consider. Now, what are the factors affecting length of brooding period? We have weather or climatic conditions and the rate of feathering. Of course, during uh, cold and rainy months, mas matagal yung brooding period kasi mas malamig. So, they need uh, more heat, no? More uh, heat to keep them warm, no? To keep them comfortable kasi nga malamig yung uh, months, yung panahon. Okay? Of course, opposite naman kapag mainit yung panahon, shorter duration lang, no? Yung brooding period. And then, sa rate of feathering, shorter yung duration ng brooding period for first feathering breeds. No? Fast. This should be fast. Rather. This should be fast. I'm sorry. Please correct this. Mas, mas uh, uh, shorter yung duration kung fast feathering. Mabilis magpalit na or mag feather yung birds. Longer for slow feathering because um, this affects, no, or this is uh, due to uh, the genetics of the bird. So, nasa inherent na, nakarakteristik yun ng uh, bird, yung rate of feathering. So, it varies across species, no. And these are the requirements for successful brooding. By the way, when we say successful brooding, there should be minimal mortality, if not totally avoided. Because at this period, susceptible to changes in environmental conditions ang mga chicks, okay? So, ayan, first and foremost, we have to start with good quality chicks, gaya ng sabi ko kanina. There should be proper temperature, good ventilation, adequate floor, feeding and drinking spaces para comfortable sila. Um, there should be no damp areas, so dapat dry and clean because this because yung damp areas allow for the growth of molds. And ayaw naman natin yun. More importantly, the area should not be, uh, should not allow the entry of predators because otherwise, mauubos yung mga chicks na inahasan mong maging layers. Okay? And then of course, another vital requirement is the provision of uh, feeds and feeding system. So, proper feeding management dapat. Okay? So, that ends my uh, discussion for um, the first part of uh, layer management, no? So, we have finished in this video yung selection of stocks to raise, the things to consider. We also have finished yung uh, housing, housing facilities, and yung brooding management. Okay? So, that ends my discussion for this uh, video. Thank you very much.